Hello, I'm Vistaboontu, and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play series on the Technic SSP mod pack for Minecraft 125. We made a lot of progress last episode, and um, we're actually getting very close to endgame in the Bombcraft 2 mod. Um, basically, we have discovered nearly everything in the Farmcraft 2 mod uh, research trees. And uh, actually, I keep forgetting that I keep my thumb and on there now. So uh, I'm not going to sift through all the lost ones, but we have nearly all of the forbidden ones. The only one remaining is the Mask of Cruelty, which I would like to try getting today. Um, Tainted Knowledge we finished up yesterday or last last episode um eldritch we have one left which i think is the void interface so we can continue trying with the eldritch and tainted or uh eldritch and forbidden paths to try finishing those up the lost path um i'm pretty sure we did finish it completely by getting the discoveries of the elemental crusher and elemental cutter so yeah 37 out of 37 so once we get the Mask of Cruelty and the Void Interface, that should be all that we need to finish the Thumbonomicon and complete all research for this this mod. Um, so Eldritch and Forbidden, good. Um, we don't need any of those other fragments anymore. Let's see what we have to boost these. I would also like to make Contained Emptiness before doing anything further, because um, that will be the upgrade that allows the occultic enchanter to put much larger enchantment levels on um, tools even if they're not magical tools like just diamond tools for example um, normally the thumbcraft two tools or weapons um, have a higher capacity for enchantments on them than the vanilla tools or weapons but with the uh, contained emptiness upgrade that changes to no longer be true so um Let's see, I want to put this away. Forbidden Knowledge and Eldritch Knowledge. So let's try to get the Eldritch one out of the way. Research value 40, 20. I think our best bet is just to grab a full stack of these. I don't think we'll even need nearly that many. This is our most upgraded or boosted Kaisatum, potentially. So put both of those there. And Eldritch. So let's see if we can get that. And not just a bunch of papers. Okay, so that was it, but it's tortuous. So let's try again. And uh, sorry in advance for the really loud bubbling. I was trying to make the... Um, I was trying to fill this up with cobblestone. And that takes a lot longer to boil down because there's just so much of it. Um, and you can throw so much in here at one time that just s sits there until it until it's all boiled away. Um, so yeah, that's gonna that's gonna just be kind of an annoyance while I'm nearby that. I could probably stop it from doing that by like making a uh, thomic tinkering tool, which I don't think I ever made, but I don't know if I really want to bother with that right now. Um, I did boost the height of this a bit so that there's more tanks. Reason being that each of these holds 500 V, and with these things, sorry, with these things producing V, and technically taint, um, but the V one here being the key one, that is going to be trying to fill this up, but it's not going to do anything to the V level in this chunk if its um, connected storage device is full of V completely. So I need some capacity in that system in order for it to constantly work drawing V from the area. And also, if this is completely full, then it doesn't matter if this is drawing taint or V, it's not going to draw anything into that system. So the taint level won't lower in the chunk either if I'm having that connected to this and it's completely full. So having some slack in there is good. And having it so big now allows it to be, I believe, 4,000 V total capacity. So when I start using the Occultic Enchanter, I can use those incredibly huge enchantments and just have plenty of V sitting ready for, uh, to do that. Um, Alright, so we got 
Jeez, I just realized this could have been going the whole time. Alright, 32% chance. I suppose we don't need these anymore, so let's boost it. That's incredible. Oh, I see. It's to get one for another step up in the process. There's still a 5% failure chance though. Jeez, this is super expensive. Okay. So, that's done. Lovely. Okay. And... Put into face. Yeah, so that's the Eldritch thing. Um, so let's... Put this away, put this away, smelt that. Actually, smelt that too. Um, start researching that. And then... Making that. So, start researching this first. I do need something to boost it though. Forbidden knowledge. Uncommon. We have only one rare artifact, which is fine. Um, can use all these uncommon ones. Alright. Oops. Made these in there first. Okay, so that's still not good enough. But maybe it is. Mask of Cruelty, tricky. Nice. A 32% on that. Just get rid of those. Okay. Um, put that away. Smelt these down. Oh, they don't have a... They don't have a um, smelting value, so it's not going to do anything. That's unfortunate. I guess they'll just go in here. Oh boy, we are so close to having all the research done. This is pretty wild. Nice. Okay, Mask of Cruelty is done. So these crazy items really aren't needed anymore, but I'm going to keep them anyway. Oh my god, seven totems of dusk. But yeah, so it hexes any creature that any living creature that you look at directly and can cause a variety of different effects, including weakening or death, so it actually like deals damage over time. So I could, if wearing that mask, I could walk up to these guys and just like kill the chickens by standing here and looking around. Um so uh, it's a it's a bit of a dangerous thing to have on. Just wandering around doing stuff around base. But um it's pretty neat sounding, so I think I would like to make that. Um, so wait a second though, because um, Totem of Dusk, I need seven of these, which means I need seven tainted logs and crystals and elementum, so seven charcoal and redstone. Okay, seven of that, seven of this, and those can actually just go through here right away. Um, pretty. Seven tainted logs and seven tainted crystals. And that gets processed in the dark infuser. So. I only have this many tainted crystals left because I threw... Well, actually, I have them all up in here. Um, and actually, now that th these are being run constantly... I can just throw the extras in here and get free e crystals over time. So that's pretty pretty wild getting crystals back from that. I totally wish that I had that earlier, but it's pretty neat having it now. Um okay, so I have that. And this should be done. Now I need seven tainted logs. I'll put this away. I don't think I have more than just one. Yeah, I just have one. Um so, let's go to the other place. Take a peek at our taint infection. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. 
Alright. Um, so it hasn't... Has it spread to this one? No, it hasn't. Because the uh, taint level here is still below 5,000. So... Yeah, that would take that would take a bit of work to get that going, but um, here this one is still well above 6,000, so it would take a lot of effort to get it to revert. Um, so I need a total of seven tainted logs. I could probably just throw logs on the ground and have them convert, and then let's give that a try. Actually, um, and I don't need seven of them, but. I'm going to use seven anyway. Lovely. So now we just wait. I suppose actually if I want to save time I could probably just r remove these and put these in their place. Hmm. Lovely. Okay, perfect. Got seven. I'm surprised I haven't gotten hit by some mob out here. Not that I want to jinx it right now. But having the crystal wing handy you can just like run away the moment you get attacked. Um okay, so let's oh, I need the dark infuser to make all of those. Jeez. So we're heading right back there. Fun. You need to be careful with these boots jumping in that oh tiny my. uh that tiny void world because it's super close to the uh, Y0 level and so if I don't catch myself and I accidentally jump off the platform I would lose all my stuff that's not in alchemy bags which is still a lot of decent stuff um, alright got this going I need more V hooked up to it possibly no that should be enough and what is needed in the corners of that? Two tainted crystals. Okay. I only have one. Great. I'll get more from base. Nice. Okay. And... I want to make that next. Okay. Mask of Cruelty is coming. Nice. Oh my god. I actually shouldn't put it there goes here. Which means I can't have my goggles of revealing on at the same time. So let's find something living. Possibly even from the Mo Creatures mod. So, um... Well, there's this guy. Don't know if the Thalmcraft things are considered living, but yeah, he is. He's being affected. That is so cool. I don't know what effect he has, but he's taking damage probably too. There it is. Oh boy. And they're dead. Nice. Didn't even have to touch them. So I wonder how far away it works though, because like, there are probably mods, mobs way out there. How far away do I have to be? Oh, it's not living anyway. So that's a bad example. There are 
creatures in the water. Like this jellyfish. Did I kill it? No. Well now I'm close enough. So it wasn't doing it before when I first started looking at it. So there is a bit of a distance thing involved. It's not too far away. Or it's not uh it's not too short of a distance. Cool. Put that away. And actually I want to be a little careful and not kill things that are not chickens. But Yeah, it's pretty slow. Killing an Enderman this way would be very slow. And it seems kind of random. Like it's not taking damage every three or four seconds. It's getting some other effect. And now it's dead. Okay. So this is coming off. I, I don't want to accidentally kill something. And it looks like it takes a fair bit of durability loss. Um, I think it can be enchanted though. So let's see actually what enchantments are are available for it. Okay, aqua affinity, respiration, because it is a mask. So you can breathe underwater, move faster underwater, um, repair, protect from projectiles and blasts. I wonder which ones of these would the uh, Ender Dragon Breath be considered, like fire or projectile? Blast. Yeah. Okay. Putting that away. Neat. So Mask of Cruelty is done. That goes here. We have contained emptiness next. What does that require? Portable hole. Clear crystal and stone slab. So the portable hole requires a fair bit of stuff. Ender pearl, enchanted fabric, and arcane singularity in the thalmic infuser. And the enchanted fabric is in the thalmic infuser with wool, crystal, and string. And oops. And um this is in the Thalmic Infuser with these, which are in here with these. So a lot of it just sit, just has to be passed through here, but you have to do a lot of things in stages. And I also need, if I remember right, this thing um, requires all of these in the Thalmic Infuser. And the recipe for that Oh, that just requires Thalmium, Fire Crystals, Enchanted Wood. Yeah. And recipe for this one. Same thing. Recipe for this. Shimmer Leaf, Water Bottle, and Crystal. Probably the same here. Yeah. So to make those, I don't need any of that fabric, but to make all of the... Um, to make this thing, which, well, and the uh, flying carpet, which I don't think we made yet. The flying carpet definitely requires the enchanted fabric. The inert carpet requires five of this. And um, each of these is a V crystal and wool and string. Okay, so I need five V crystals, five wool, five string. And also, portable hole. There's another one of these. So, a total of six of those. I think I might have the wool here in the string, so wool. Only eight, so I mean, I only need six though, so that should be fine. And I have so many B crystals now because of the uh, crystallizer. 
So six of those. Get those taken care of. Um, and I need Ender Pearl. And two charcoal, redstone, and glowstone dust, if I remember right. To make this charcoal, redstone, glowstone dust, redstone. Oh, that's what the difference is. Okay, so instead of two of those, it's two of these. Now I have so many depleted crystals. I needed one of them for the uh, contained emptiness upgrade. And I also need a slab again, which I don't have with me. Slab. And this is nice use of the extra V2, making these. Cool. So, um, let's see. I have those two. Oops. And Ender Pearl. Oh, I already grabbed that. So, Ender Pearl, Slab, Completed Crystal, these, one of these. Okay, so these two make the Singularity. And. Singularity with this and Singularity, Fabric, and Ender Pearl. Singularity, Fabric, Ender Pearl. Okay, so let's try this. This will be our portable hole. Nice. And this will be our upgrade. Contained emptiness. Awesome. It took a lot of stuff. And I think I need four gold for the flying carpet. The inert flying carpet. Okay, so we have the inert carpet. And needs to be infused with extract of lightest air. Right, so first step, put the contained emptiness on this. Right there, perfect. And let's see what can be done here now. I should have done a comparison. Um, efficiency 5. So if I put efficiency 5, unbreaking 3, fortune 3. So it still has way more capacity, apparently, than that. And I think Silk Touch... No, that's pretty small, actually. Self-Repair, 621. Fortune, 875. Efficiency, that's a big one. Okay, so Efficiency, Unbreaking is a pretty small one. I don't actually want to, rep to um, enchant this thing with these. Because I think that I would be able to better enchant one of the OP Thumbcraft end game tools that we're about to make. In fact, I want to see, since I have these here, what the Void Crusher can be enchanted with. Oh, that's right, the Void Crusher, even though it's a, a weapon or tool, it can give you respiration and aqua affinity. Which is pretty, pretty impressive that you can have that from something you're holding. Um, Okay, so respiration is 492. Aqua affinity is really tiny. Um, Fortune 3, 875. Unbreaking, 375. Silk touch. Efficiency. So efficiency is the key one. Um, and this one is 621. Okay, so this and this. I wish there was a way to get more than that. 
they might actually be a way to unlock an extra slot of upgrades, but whatever. Um, okay, so one thing I haven't checked... Oh my god, there's so many things possible on this. Uh, one thing I didn't check is armor. So putting armor in here, what kind of upgrades those can get. Um, so sharpness, once I get the sharpness out of the way... And the knockback moves up there, there's fire aspect and looting that were out of the way here. Um, if I put efficiency here, we can see that there's actually a whole bunch of things that aren't visible. So if I put vampiric... Yeah, just if you wanted to get like fire aspect on here, or looting... Good luck. Well, I suppose you can do it this way and then get rid of that, and then you have to like juggle what what's visible at each time. But anyway, um, so the cutter, which is the weapon, can have quite a lot more things on it. I don't need relic hunter anymore, but that could have been useful earlier. Um, venom, ice, soul stealer, vampiric. Even this has respiration. Cool. Um. I don't think I need efficiency on it, so I would probably put something like unbreaking and sharpness and looting, maybe. But anyway, so next step, we want to have this not be inert eventually, but um, next step I want to see what these can do what they can have. Protection, protections, protections. Okay, so just all the protection. Cool. And the Thalmcraft armor can have things like striding. That's neat. All the protections. Feather falling. And self-repair. Okay. But how much capacity does this have? So if I put striding... So it's 2518, get rid of striding. Well, that's a big one, so I want that. Um, projectile protection is a small one. Protection is a huge one. But still, 3700 is not even at the max for the capacity of these. So, cool. Now we know... We can pretty much put any combination of three things on it. There's got to be a way with like an anvil or something to, um, I mean, to combine things that you enchant with this. But I'm not going to look into it right now. So um, let's make the elemental stuff. Okay, so I did that. I'm going to put this away. Contained emptiness. Did that. That's in... Forbidden? No. Eldritch. That makes sense. Okay. So we want... Let's just do the cutter first. And we already have the Sword of the Zephyr, so we just need to make an axe of the stream. Extract of lightest air and extract of coolest water. So let's put that over there. I suppose it would make sense if I actually looked up. Um, elemental cutter. Exit the stream. So three aqueous, three thaumium, and an enchanted wood. Thaumium, one, two, three. Enchanted wood. And three aquas. And of course, the sticks that I don't carry around, I can probably just make with the wood that I carry around all the time. But didn't bother doing that. Okay, so. Amium, axe, check. 
And I think this was the recipe. Yes, Axe of the Stream. Okay. So we have Axe of the Stream, Void Cutter, and Sword of the Zephyr. Right. And beyond those, we need extracted lightest air and coolest water. So another aqueous, another vaporous, two shimmer leaf, and two water bottles. I'm going to make more than just two water bottles because we need plenty more. So how many do I have? I think I have some in here from earlier. Nope, I'll use those. Or put them in here. Or put them in here. But I don't see them, so I'm just going to make a few of those. Shimmer leaf, I need two shimmer leaves. And extract. Actually, I'm going to be making more things. So I'm just going to grab four of those plus another one for the flying carpet thing. Um, vaporous. Another vaporous for the flying carpet one. And aqueous. Pretty sure it was vaporous and aqueous for this. Lightest and coolest. Okay, so let's get those. Oh geez, those take a lot of V. 250 each. <laughs> that is so crazy. Well, I need to start smelting some things down. I don't need to, but like, I might as well. because I don't like listening to that bubbling. Mm. Still not a full stack here. Give it a second. Or a few seconds apparently. There. I never did get around to making an automatic bookmaker. So this is what we're going to do. So this stack should melt down, or smelt down a lot uh, faster than three full stacks of sugarcane. But it's the same amount of total V. Um, okay. And that one is done. Let's make two of these. Can only do one at a time because of the water bottles don't stack. goes with those. The next one will go with them as well. Um, elemental cutter. I don't need this with me anymore. Same with that one. Okay, so next step is actually making the elemental cutter. Because I think we've got everything we need for it. Lightest there, coolest water. Axe of the stream, sort of the zephyr, void cutter. Lightest there, coolest water. Axe of the stream, zephyr, and cutter. Perfect. Cool. And this one's gonna take a lot more V. 500. So we're going through loads of V making these two, but these are like V endgame OP Thumbcraft 2 stuff, so definitely worth making. Um, I'm gonna get those. Well, I'm gonna keep a stack of those because they're going to keep stacking up. Um, this is for that, which I can probably infuse after this is done. Um, 
the crusher requires earth and fire. So I'll grab those V crystals right away. Earth and fire. And actually I just realized I can grab them from here. Um, so let's just throw those in there I guess. And if I need more I'll just grab them from nearby. Elemental cutter. Wow. Now that is done. Let's get these infused. That is a lot of V. My god. And to make this it's a lot of V. And it's going to require this much each time you try re-infusing this. But I think you can just put this once it's infused in an alchemy bag with talisman of repair and it should like repair itself like other things tend to. Um, okay, so these... I don't need three of those, I just need these two. I might make another one of those um, lightest air things because if this doesn't repair in the alchemy bag I will need a backup to keep it flying if I'm trying to do something with it. Um, Right, so those are just going to go for a while. That done. Okay, so what else do we need here? The crusher requires shuffle of renewal, pickaxe of the core. So, three earthen crystals, enchanted wood, thaumium ingot, and three fiery, three thaumium, and enchanted wood. So two enchanted wood. Four thaumium ingot. And... Wait, one... Wait a second, which one was that? So the shovel requires three, okay. So they both require three. I suppose I will just use sticks. Okay, warmest fire. Put those in there. While that's going. Wait a second. Is it just one? No, wait, I'm doing this wrong. Start with the thaumium ones. And then enchanted wood. And those. Oh, wait. Thaumium shovel, earthen crystal. Oh, it's that shape. Okay. I suppose that makes sense. So that, and this one is straight across with the. Thaumium pickaxe, pickaxe of the core, shovel of renewal. Now the pickaxe of the core is neat. If you right click with it, you get this little wisp that floats around and tries to find the most valuable resource nearby. Which is more useful if you're underground than in my base. But it's pretty neat. It's, they seem to be hovering on silverwood. Interesting. And also very neat light show at night, probably. Huh. <laughs> Hopefully they go away eventually, because I don't want them just like... Well, it would be kind of neat to have them just being point lights above my silverwood logs. Huh. Neat discovery. Anyway, so this has become a bit um, damaged, and I think I need a fully repaired one, so let's let that repair. Um, so we have the flying carpet. This goes with the void crusher, shovel of renewal, um, put that away, oh wait, actually I'm not putting those in there anymore. And I'm going to put this in a different box. Um, okay, that goes there. This goes here. 
That's going to take a little while, like three minutes. Um, so in the meantime, like that. So unfortunately, I need to wait until that thing recovers all the way, or repairs all the way. But while it does that, I'm going to look into making um, zero ring from element uh, equivalent exchange two, because I think this will let me throw snowballs, and that's important because if I want to try defeating the end dragon with specifically equivalent exchange two stuff and not farmcraft two stuff, then one of the ways that would be entertaining to try doing that is to throw snowballs at those exploding um, things at the top of the obelisks that rip that heal the ender dragon. Um, and this ring, I believe, will allow me to throw snowballs using EMC. This is such a shame, my god. Um, okay, so I have snow down here from early, early on. Four. Perfect. And snowballs in here. I think I only need four of them. Nope, just two actually. And, um... I need to make another iron band, and thankfully instead of using a lava bucket for that, I can use the vulcanite amulet in its place, and it won't use up the vulcanite amulet. So I'm gonna grab that, and eight iron ingot. Let's get that crafted. So iron band, snow, snowball, and I need dark matter, which means I need diamonds. And I don't have enough diamonds for that. I have enough gold to make enough diamonds, probably. And if not, I can do a quick mining trip with the destruction catalyst to do that. This is still going to take about half a minute now. Um, let's see. And I think I've got loads of iron ingot and some more gold in the um, in the furnace up here. Cool. Yeah, lots of gold. So I'm just gonna take all that gold out. And if I need more iron, then that also will help. So let's see here. I mean, this will be 16 diamonds right there, so I only need two more. Cool. 18 diamond, and um, I could probably just take it all from here. So much Eternalist fuel. Um, eight each with a diamond block in the middle, so that should be enough. Okay, so diamond block first. And then these. Cool. And now for the zero ring. Yay, snowballs. <laughs> Alright. Wait. So, I don't actually remember how this works. So, I'm pressing R, it's making that noise. I'm right clicking, it's making that noise. Um, I know this will freeze stuff beneath me if I turn it on. Oh, maybe I need to turn it on. So, hit G and it freezes it. And if I get far enough away, it should unfreeze. Possibly. But either way, being near that, I don't want to break my cobblestone generator by running this. So, um, let's just, wait a second, what? Oh, sand, okay. Um, so yeah, let's see if it works. Nope, it still doesn't work. I charge it up. Nothing. I don't know what's going on when I do that. Um, 
So if I turn this off, maybe if I press R. Nope, that's not doing it. But if I right click. Okay, so right clicking in the water does that. Interesting. Um, and if I right click, or if I uh, hit R, it does the same thing. So I'm so confused because it's supposed to be a way to throw snowballs. Let me take a quick peek at that feature. Maybe I'm misremembering it. I might be thinking of like the super OP endgame um, helmet or boots or something from Equivalent Exchange 2, but should be quick to check. Okay, so Equivalent Exchange 2. Zero ring. I'm so confused. Oh, okay. Left clicking. Yeah, so that's that's neat. So it is left click instead of right click, and I'm surprised I didn't try that before looking it up. <laughs> I feel kind of dumb, but um, yeah, I'm going to remove this from my inventory before I make a mistake of freezing something I don't want to freeze. But first, discharge it. Okay, so this is all repaired, perfect, and with all of these. I have everything I need to make the Elemental Crusher. So let's get that going. Cool. And yeah, I need to melt some more stuff down. So let's put that in here. Activate it. And because I have them, let's cook all these eggs. Yummy. So let's give this flying carpet a try actually. I haven't tried using one before, but um, I actually don't know how to use it. So I don't equip it that way, like wearing it. Um, oh, you place it on the ground. And right clicking you board it just like a minecart. Um, okay, and so I'm flying around. I can leave it the same way. That's really pretty neat. Um, so I have to wonder how to pick it up. Do I shift right click? Nope. Do I punch it like a wine cart? Yes, I do. And it has five durability loss. Please repair. Okay, so I don't need to reinfuse this thing ever. 
so that's that's excellent so i'm curious if the like dragon breath from the ender dragon would cause it to break like it might break a minecart that you're riding on um so that might not be a feasible option but it would let me fly so there's that um wait did i didn't try shift or control or something so space goes up shift goes down okay so just like normal there's a slight delay compared to using the equivalent exchange stuff but i'm on a carpet and that's pretty cool um oh and i'm standing on it i'm not i'm not even sitting on it like i thought i was that's interesting hmm all right then oh and it doesn't render underneath that that's interesting too. All right. Cool. Um, and let's see. Lovely. Put these away. Oops. Just let that repair, I guess. All right, so I recovered some of that. And want to switch these just cuz okay so we have the elemental crusher and the elemental cutter next step is enchanting these so the elemental crusher okay so this is supposed to be like a shovel and the pickaxe in one with extra features like the right click to summon wisps and stuff um, and it also like the pieces it's made of has the aqua affinity and respiration very interestingly um, unbreaking would be nice I don't plan on really using this much but um, so fortune to get more diamonds or something yay efficiency is a must um, fortune also pretty much a must. Unbreaking. I think that's really all it can do. <laughs> um, self repair is not really needed, but it looks like it's pretty expensive. If I didn't have equivalent exchange too, that would be a good thing to put on, given how expensive this thing is to make. But um, yeah, I don't think I need any of these. So unbreaking is the one to put on. Um, cool. So 4,000 V coming right up, right? Um, Sure, let's get that started. Nice. Alright. Look at that go down. Very fast. And this thing only holds 4,000, so that's not even enough. It wasn't full, but if it was, it's still not enough to fully enchant that. Um, so I need to start smelting even more. Got 26 bread. Lovely. And how many paper? Not much. Alright. Um, I don't think I can use these. No, they're just EMC. But I do have all of these. I can use a whole stack of these if I want to now that I'm done with the research. I can use all of them actually now that I think about it. And um, that would get me a lot of V. So let's use those and my bread because I don't need bread. Wow, I just realized the taint charge in the area goes up quite a bit while this happens because I'm using the occultic enchanter with a bunch of brains and jars, and it's, it's from the Forbidden Knowledge Path, so it's kind of going to taint stuff. Um, okay, so this is done. Let's throw these in. I'll just put 16 right now. Cool. That should go up pretty quickly. but it seems like it's not moving through here quickly enough. So I might make a second 
one of those. I got the extra conduit, I think. Yeah. Let's do that just to speed up the, uh, the process. Nice. Yeah, that's going way faster now. And I could do another one even, if I wanted to. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have enough made right now. I'm not going to really bother with making more either, so it's going to have to be it. Alright. Let's throw some more in here just to keep this filled because I'm going to be making lots of stuff. Enchanted. That is a lot of V. Nice. Okay. Um, and this pulls V too. Let me just collect these in a safe place for now though in case something happens. Don't know what something... What, what could happen that could get rid of all of this, but I don't want to risk it. So I just put them in my handy alchemy bag, which is safe from everything. Okay. Oh, it's almost done. Cool. If I was thinking, given how much this is going to consume, I would have made like three channels of V coming out of these into that. But I'm not planning on using this more than like this one let's play, so I don't think I even need to bother doing that. That's actually going to fill very soon. Um, let me get these started just to pull more V out of that. And those are pulling out of the same output as that, so maybe I don't want to use that for V right now. Same with this. Kind of wanted to duplicate some things, but no need right now, so that'll just sit there for now. And when I'm done enchanting, then I can use it. Oh, it did finish. Cool. Wow. So efficiency 5, fortune 3, unbreaking 3. Awesome. What can we do with this one? All the things. So um, this being the thing that chops trees and cuts things like mobs. Um, I'm trying to think what fortune would be for that. I know what looting is for that. Where is looting actually? That would be further down probably. So sharpness, yeah, looting goes there. So looting is a huge amount of V. Awesome. Wait, what? Oh, combining it adds a lot. So I get rid of looting, it's only 1500. If I put both looting and that, it doubles it. But if I get rid of sharpness, it's only 875 for the looting alone. So, um... Let's see here. I can only put one more enchantment on. It's already 3400. Unbreaking would be good. I don't really need fortune for this type of thing. Efficiency might be good, but I'm planning on actually not using this for collecting resources, more just killing stuff with it. So, um... Vampiric could be good, but I have those charms to protect my health and everything. I don't need more souls. I don't need more relics. Knockback, maybe. Hmm. So efficiency would... <laughs> 6,600. Oh my god. If I get rid of efficiency and put... What was the other option? Oh, possibly just knockback? Oh, unbreaking. 4600. So I have the choice. Do I want to put unbreaking on this or do I just want to trust using my alchemy bag and having this away for a bit whenever it needs to be? Hmm. Yeah, I don't need silk touch. Um. Let's do efficiency, because it's so much, so much V, it's enormous. Um, looting 3, sharpness, and efficiency. That's what we'll do. So, get that started. This might take a while, but we have lots of stuff to cook down. So I'm just going to let it happen and go do other stuff. Let me take a quick peek at what I've got. Mm -hmm. 
So we have the zero ring. We have the elemental cutter, elemental crusher. We upgraded the occultic enchanter, we made the mask of cruelty, the flying carpet. We haven't made the void bracelet. I forget exactly how that works. I know it does teleportation. Not really thinking it's necessary. So I think that that's um, basically going to wrap up the Thomcraft 2 stuff that I'm planning that I was planning on doing. Um, there, there are other enchantments that I want to do on the armor, for example. And actually, with that in mind, um, let's make some Thomcraft armor. I don't know if the void armor is better or worse than the Thomcraft one, so I'm going to check briefly. And it might be might be helpful to actually um, search for like chest. No, chest is not the right one. Void metal, thomium. Okay, so it has a higher smelting value and a higher research value. So I think void metal is the one. Thomium you can make with stuff that you make from V crystals easily, but void metal, you have to get into the Eldritch things to get void metal. Um, so I'm thinking it's much higher tier. I was thinking there might be like magical ones already in the mod, but I don't think there are leggings. I know there's magical boots, but I think just void metal leggings are the ones that we want to look at. Because like just like the quantum suit ones, which are light blue in in uh, in here, and the nano suit ones, which are yellow, the thomium are yellow and void metal are light blue. So these being the higher tier of something like that, same is true here, I think. So void metal leggings are the ones I want to make then. And yeah, it's gonna take. I I don't have it memorized, so um, let's see. Chest would be eight. Leggings would be another 7, so it's 15 already. Helm would be 5, so that brings it to 20. And boots would be 4 more, so... Oh, I've got boots already, though, that I'm not planning on changing, so... And I don't need these on all the, twi all the time anymore, because they were only really useful for protecting my, my area. So I'll put those away and replace these two and my helmet. And so I don't need the boots, so that should be just 20 void ingot, which I do actually have. So let's make those and see how good they are. Void metal leggings. Void metal chest plate. Void metal helm. Alright, and I don't think I can. Yeah, it's gonna take a little while for me to be even be able to put something in to check how much it can be enchanted. So for now, I'm just gonna put these on. Nice, it even has little spikes on it. Lovely. Much better. Okay, so... What else is there to do? Sorry, I'm not uh, used to running around in uh, third person like that. Um, okay, so that's still going... Oh, that's gone down. Wow. Okay, so let me put more in, I guess. I might go through all of these in my enchanting process, and actually that, would, that wouldn't that would be a bad thing. Um, so the Crusher replaces both of these, basically. Um, let me see what it can do. Hmm. I'm going to go somewhere safe. <laughs> I was just going to pause the enchanting, I know, but still. So let's go over here. Right click. Puts one of these out saying there's something good right around here. So left click does that. Shift left, left click just breaks one. 
and this has efficiency 5 and fortune 3 and unbreaking 3. So efficiency 5 makes me think if I hold shift, or if I hold left click. Hmm. Interesting. So it's doing like explosive. Though I need to be careful because, oh shoot, I forgot. This is the dense ores age and I'm gonna get loads of dense ore stuff. Um, thankfully only silver ore right now. But I don't want to have all of that. So, get rid of these. But yeah, looks like that's how efficient that is. I have space in here, I'm just gonna drop these off. And put these in there. And once I get things enchanted, I'll put these away, but for now, they'll just go in here. Um, yeah, that's fine. And I don't need these anymore. I won't need this. Technically, I won't need this, but if I don't have something that that is vanilla to use as a right-click, um, as a safe thing for right-clicking. Like right now, if I right-click with this, it'll do like a block. And if I right click on things here, I'll close them, or open this. But if I do that with this, and I misclick on something, I could break something huge. It'll leave a big crater, like... Oh, never mind, right click is doing this. Never mind. But doing it with something that actually has a big effect when you right click could be a problem. I just realized I've never been back here with these boots on. They are so fast that I can chase down a running deer without trying. I wasn't even running, I was just using the default speed with them. So, cool. Um, going back, letting this enchant this uh, enchanting process finish. Cool. Um, I'm just gonna grab the extra Eldritch Mechanisms, because I'm gonna melt all of them down. What else do I have that has Smelting value. Totem of Dawn, I guess. Um, tainted logs. Eldritch Stone has some. But all of these don't. Ooh, the one of the bone, I forgot about that. Quicksilver. Quicksilver does. Cinder Pearl Pods do. These don't. Those don't. Oh, they... These do, actually. Um, I don't really feel like using a bunch of silverwood logs for that, though. Cinnabar Ore has a smelting value of 16. Hmm. So, it's just barely worth smelting it down into Quicksilver. Except that Quicksilver, you might get multiple of them when smelting in this thing right now. So I'm actually going to do that just to get a little bit more smelting stuff. Just melt that down. And... Flying carpet doesn't need to be in that. Full diamond armor in there, cool. I actually melted all of that down, cool. So those in there. I'll put my diamond tools in here, even my sword, because I won't need it anymore. Hmm. I think it's done. Awesome. So we got sharpness 5, looting 3, efficiency 5. That is an enormously enchanted elemental cutter. Why is this only showing three rows? Being weird. Oh, because it's been damaged. You can't smelt it down or research with it. Okay, so let's um, take a look at these then. Even the boots, I guess. So, helmet. Can have a lot of stuff. Super high protection, fire protection, blast, projectile, and then underwater stuff. 
protection, fire blast, projectile. And swimming. What? <laughs> I didn't realize that was a thing. Um so the boots can get swiftness and the leggings can get swimming. Cool. Um I might actually do that. So what would all the protections Oh I can only do one of them, that's right. Okay. Oof, that that's rough. So I guess I'll just do this for a thousand and then add swimming to it. And just because I've got capacity, sure, let's do some self-repair. Though I could spare myself the V, I guess, because I don't need self-repair, but mm. Yeah, fine. I'll just do this one. And got stuff in here that hasn't melted down. Thankfully I came over here because Wow, I'm not used to jumping without those those boots anymore. <laughs> it feels so heavy. Like I can barely move. Okay. So what is the right click on this? Block? Okay. And what about if I do it on... Oh no, there's a texture artifact. You can see that little moving thing on it. So what if I... Go over this way. And left click on something like this field of grass doesn't break anything nearby. Okay. Killed that guy in one hit. Cool. Oh, it's got the lightning effect from the um, Sword of the Zephyr. There's also an ability to pull enemies towards you, and I don't remember what that is. It's not R. It's not V. It's not C. Oh, right click. Oh my god, I'm being poisoned because I'm pulling this towards me. But, um... <laughs> oh my god, they're still alive. That's nuts. It does the lightning effect too on everything that's within a certain range of each other. So, pulling them towards you with the right click and hold, and then using lightning with that. It, uh, it's a good combo. Yes, now I can make things fly. I wonder what happens if I drop you. Goodbye. Nice. Oh, and it drops slimes. Cool. Alright. Come in with me, horse. I didn't want a... Oh my god. I'm taking so much damage from, from the uh, werewolf. Nice. You're gonna die from fire. God, I feel so cruel. Oh, nice. So I'm actually starting to get some of the neat stuff from the, um, the, the not the shark teeth. I mean, you can use those to make um, chainmail armor, but the um, heart of undead and just fire, for example. The fire can be dropped just like this can from the Mo Creatures mods, or er, mob, mobs from that mod. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's pretty neat. Oh no! Creeper! <laughs> that was bad. 
<laughs> cool. Okay, so not putting the unbreaking on the cutter might have been a bad idea because it already has 678 durability loss. So I'm going to just do without that for a little while while it repairs. And yeah, can probably get by just fine with this guy. Cool. So protection for swimming three. I'm excited to see that. Let's put this on. Hmm. Okay. Um, chest plate. Oh wait, I didn't check my boots. I don't think I checked my boots. But before I do anything with those, I'm going to repair them. Alright, so this is just going to go for a while. Um, boots, right. Wait, can this be enchanted? Nope. Okay. I didn't think it could, but that would have been really neat. Um, right, so striding is a must, just because who doesn't want to put striding on their 7 league boots? Um, okay, so I already have protection 4. I don't know if I need fire protection because I already have charm of cleansing. Um, I don't need feather falling because e even the uh, elemental cutter has the sword of the zephyr in it which has, well, if you're holding right click, I think you feather fall, um, and slow fall actually, but feather falling itself, like not taking damage when you fall, that's already in the seven league boots and the swift wealth running gale. <laughs> so I don't think I need this one. I'll do without that. Um, projectile protection. I don't really, not going to bother. So. Hmm. Definitely this one. And that leaves me, I guess, with just a couple other things. So, self-repair or not. Again, I don't think I need to put the extra V into it. So I'm not going to. Striding and protection. Fine. Okay, so how is the repair going? The crusher is repaired. The cutter is going to take quite a while. Nearly 10 minutes. Lovely. Might be wise of me to make a second crusher. Or second cutter. Um, right, so I'm going to put that away. Heart of Undead is used to make Essence of Undead. Which is used to make essence of light with fire and darkness. And essence of light you use on like a horse to make like a unicorn. If it's your own tamed horse, something like that. Um, or you make a pegasus out of it or something. Mo creatures again. So let me just drop this off in here with the fire and all of my eggs. Okay. Wait a minute, why do I have the Mercurial Eye out? When did I do that? I think that was a misclick. Get that out of the way. Okay. And I need more charcoal to keep this going efficiently. Oh, Quicksilver's done. Nice. Put that in here. 48 Quicksilver. Improved speed, which could be useful for some things, but at this point in the game I don't think I'm going to use it. It's also used to make voiding get with seed, it Seeds of Darkness. And, um... Again, I don't know if I need to do that. I 
Anything else? No. Hmm. Almost done. I feel so slow. Okay. Protection 4, striding 3. Let's put those on and see how fast I am. Oh my god. And I'm not even running, guys. I am not running. This is crazy. And it has step up too, so I don't have to worry about stopping. Let's let's actually try running now. Oh my god, guys. This is nuts. This is crazy. What is going on? <laughs> wow. And I have swimming with the legs. So I'm not levitating now at all. And once I get to the surface, okay, now I'm going to swim. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> okay. I don't even think the sharks can catch me. Come on, guys. No? 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 Okay. Wow, this is so crazy. Oh my god. Anyway, um <laughs> That is that's nuts. Um Alright. So it's already around time to wrap up this episode, but what I want to do is I want to finish this enchanting process with the chest plate and the helm. Now that I have a cutter and a crusher and these things enchanted. So I want to I want to finish with enchanting these and then maybe next episode go to the end and take on the, the ender dragon um, with just Thomcraft 2 stuff. Like I'll put my Swift Ulster and Gale ring away and I'll just use the flying carpet for example, and these charms, um, and, and all this OP stuff, and that would be a, a pretty fun time. And um, I'm going to make a second save to go back to after doing that, and then I'll be able to take on the Ender Dragon with only equivalent exchange stuff, such as flying with this and using the zero ring to destroy those um, regeneration things around the dragon and using the well not the destruction catalyst but maybe just the standard bow with some arrows to take him out but i could go so far as to make an actual like red matter katar and red matter armor. Actually, now that I think about it, I would either be going in diamond armor or red matter armor. But I wouldn't have all of the protection from these things. I could enchant it with this, possibly. With the standard diamond armor. But, um, yeah, so next episode will be taking on the Ender Dragon with just Thomcraft 2 stuff. And then the following episode or maybe that same episode, I might go back with a different save file and take it on with this stuff. And the plan after that is to experiment a little bit with mo creatures stuff, like making a giant pit of snakes in the plains, to have snakes in the plains. Um, and... Um, Trying to domesticate, or not domesticate, like trying to have as many as possible, as many of those different kinds of mo creatures mobs as possible. 
um, as pets and maybe breed them if possible, but really the only path that seems interesting in Mo Creatures mod is crossbreeding the horses into magical things like the zombie horse or skeleton horse or whatever to get like more advanced versions. But um, might do that, might not, not certain yet. But I do kind of want to play around a little bit more after taking on the Ender Dragon because having all of these neat toys now finally earned them through hard work and lots of time. It's uh, it's going to be fun to play around with them. So that's where I'm going to wrap up this episode. Next episode I will have these already enchanted so we don't have to waste any time before going out and trying to take on the Ender Dragon. Um, I just realized though, one last thing. I need, I need Eyes of Ender. I only have three Ender Pearls. So between episodes I'm also going to work on duplicating Ender Pearls to get Ender Eyes for the End Portal. Um, and thankfully we have this to help with that. But I could actually just go exploring, flying around at night and taking out Endermen that way. Oh, actually, shoot. No, that, that's how I have to do it. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up there for this episode. Thanks for sticking sticking through the long episodes, the last couple ones. Um, gotten a lot of stuff done, but it's been a fun time, and I'm excited for the next couple, finally wrapping this all up. So I'll see you guys around. Take care.